What's up guys, so here we are in my brother's 335. Uh, I'm fixing it while he's doing his drone thing somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Is that it? Oh yeah, it's right there. But yeah, so pretty much what we're doing right now is just gonna be replacing one of the injectors. One of them is starting messing up. So it's just gonna be a quick walk through, I guess. And if you wanna make things a little bit easier, you can just grab a E14 and then just remove this bar. Just bolt that bolt right there and then just move it to the side. So my brother's doing it right now. Uh, this is one of the reasons why you plug the battery. Uh, let's say right now, if we were to check this metal piece, if for some reason there'll be any exposed metal, you could cause, cause a spark. And yeah, you wanna prevent that. So you just go over it like that. And now, since we're doing the cylinder six, now we have access and we can remove the cable as well as the injector. Oh, and also it might be a little easier if you remove your coil pack. And now to remove it, you just simply, let's say we're removing this one, just pull this up. <laughs> this should come right off, this one's old. But technically it should do this. So you pull it off and it'll come right off. Now from there, you can just jank it up. If you can't really get a grip, you could just put one of these extensions in between and slice right out. But yeah, so pretty much what you have to do to remove one of the injectors, it's, uh, these are gonna be going across so pretty much this is installed just as like this one's right here if you want to just replace it you go ahead and grab a 14 mil uh, here i have one uh, before you do so go ahead and go to the back of your car and plug the battery it's better if you let it sit for a few hours so there's not a lot of ga gas spilling out but if you don't mind a little mess and then cleaning everything up you can just grab your rack and just clean it up after you remove one of these uh little thing so like I said 14 millimeter bolt ties and then we can see right here that's the injector and as you can see on the left side there's a little plug right there and to remove that plug we're gonna go ahead and use one of these handy uh, picking tools it's kind of hard to see on that side so I'm just gonna demonstrate it on one of these other injectors uh, so to remove it it's gonna be uh, like so you put this in, lift that up right there. You can see there's a tab and then pull as you lift that up. So I'm going to do it on that side, uh, but it's the same for all six uh, injectors. So yeah, and also make sure that once you remove your injector to get the same style, this one's index 10. So we're going to go ahead and use index 10. But if your car has whatever index just use, either upgrade all of them or get the same style all right so as you can see the plug has been removed uh there's times with this little plastic could break if your injectors are kind of old that's okay as long as the prongs are still there uh but yeah next we're gonna go ahead and remove that bracket uh you can see right there so we're gonna remove it it's gonna be just one bolt for two injectors so yeah just remove that and it's, i believe it's gonna be one of these smaller So uh, it's gonna be an e E10. Let's double check. Okay, so something to keep in mind once you remove it, make sure you take note on the way this bracket is placed. All right, so this is the bracket that you're gonna remove. As you can see, it goes like so. This pushes down on the injector and make sure it doesn't fall out. And the way you wanna put it, make sure not to mess up and place it this way. You have to put the curvature facing down like so, so that way it pushes down on the injectors instead of being like this. So yeah, something to keep in mind so you don't mess up and have leaks and yeah. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the injector itself. And to do so, we're gonna be using some of these. Uh, of course, if you have the proper tools, it will be a lot easier, but we don't. So we're using this. So just carefully, we're gonna remove this injector by making sure it's fairly tight around 
the wrenching area so we don't touch the threads in case you want to reuse the injector or whatever if you don't care about the injector just take it out however you want but yeah we're gonna get a good spot and uh, we could just try to jack it or if you can't make sure you could if you can't remove it just make sure you grab something else to get a better grip just stick something in between and then just pull it out it's just kind of yeah it depends on the situation but it seems like right here it's not too tight so we might be able to just jank it out like so so this one was fairly simple uh, you can see all that nasty stuff right there but yeah here we have the other sensor the other sensor Ooh, that was close the other injector could you all right so here we have the other injector now we're going to place it the same way but before you do so go ahead and take note of this numbers right here this one's on the left side and we're gonna take a picture of whatever just so you could get back to it later on and to place it in just slide it in and make sure you have this right here so we're taking a picture as you can see right there and now we should just be able to slide it in like so you can see there's that part right there that you have to align just push it in until it fully sits okay so once it's fairly in there it's not really gonna move it does move but not that bad just press it as hard as you can without damaging it now after that go ahead and grab your bracket and like I said make sure it's the right way this part is kind of complicated <laughs> there you go so like this and then if you have a magnet it makes it a lot easier or you can use a piece of paper for this as well all right so as you can see right there it's now sitting correctly we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up uh, make sure to get it really tight because it does push this down so if it's not fully sitting down it could leak some gas through here so yeah right now it's fully tightened we could go ahead and put back the plug right there and now from there uh whew, where is it okay it's right here so we grab this and install it and before you install it make sure there's nothing right here in between the threads because I had a previously uh, there was a time in another 335 that I accidentally stripped the screws and it was because there was some debris or grease or whatever in between so just make sure you kind of pre-tighten it make sure it's fully straight if it doesn't go in freely don't tighten it you obviously don't want to strip anything with gas but yeah, it should go in smoothly with no issues whatsoever so you can see it's time it's becoming tight freely and from here you can just grab your 14 millimeter where oh here it is and tighten it up okay so just put that bolt back and we have everything pretty much in there besides the coil pack we're gonna put that in right now and we should be good to go all right so now we're just gonna put everything back and go inside the car all right guys so there's a lot of ways to code the injectors but today we're gonna be doing it with impa we're just gonna plug in our k plus decan cable and our ob2 connection right there uh, make sure you have your car in ignition without starting the engine and uh, these two dots should be on on and from there this is an e92 335 but um it only gives us the option for e90 so we press shift it says right there shift f2 like so and then we go down to engine and we're gonna click where is it oh i think i pressed the wrong one Yep, I pressed E46. So shift, 
uh, F2. There we go. Now we go ahead and click engine. And then N54 with MSD80. Enter. And then this menu will be in German, where you go to this one, F9, system diagnosing. And from here, we go to injector, whatever, right there. So shift F4. And you press OK. And now here you can see all the injectors. It's not showing right now, but I could just go back with this by clicking this. And try it one more time. Shift F4. And if you come up, there you go. Okay, so now we have all the injectors. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna be doing number six, so we press F6. Okay. And we're gonna put in those values that we got. So as you can see right here, it's 578, 173. And the format, it's a little different than what the actual injector says so as you can see this one is injector number six it says 57.7 so we're going to put 57.8 that's going to be the first number so it's 57.8 and then for the one at the bottom oh, let me move this okay it says 173 so it's in that format, so we'll put 1.73. So 1.73, and then press OK, and it should update. It might be a little different, as you can see, this one, it didn't fully update. But uh, as long as it's close to what it says, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, and uh, now we could just turn on the car, but first I'm going to have my brother see if he could see, just to make sure there's no leaks. And... Um, yeah, we can start up the car and see because we want to be obviously quick in case it leaks gas to not have it spill all over the place. Okay, so I'm going to start it. guys so it looks to be good uh, we're gonna let it idle for a while just to make sure and then we're gonna go ahead and test drive it and hopefully everything's back to normal uh, but yeah guys that's pretty much how you replace it it's fairly simple and let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll be more than happy to guide you guys through the process